Hey guys, I'm Soviet Death, and uh, welcome to a quick tutorial video on some really what I consider some of the best methods for trying to fix uh, issues caused by downloading World of Tanks. Uh, I've been pretty much doing most of these since beta, because, well, it was beta days. <laughs> uh, I tend to do a lot of downloads a lot, so. This is just something I do for pretty much any game, but um, there's a few built-in features that kind of make it better for things like World of Tanks. Uh, let me just start up my World of Tanks file. I'm going to do this all during the uh, video so that you guys know that this is actually safe for you to do. It's not going to affect any of your tanks or anything, because there's some people that have problems thinking that it's going to delete their files and stuff like that. Uh, the very first thing I'm going to do is something that pretty much you can do without even doing anything. And that's just doing a quick uh, defrag of the game. Uh, this is very easy. It helps clean up a lot of files and pretty much doesn't really mess anything. It can only make things better usually. Uh, if you have no problems right now, don't even worry about doing this though because it could potentially mess up your system. It, it won't, but it, it can if you're doing anything that you're not supposed to. Um, I know this is going to be... Let me lower down the sound from the actual game because I know that my clicking on here is very loud because I'm not in the game itself. All right, that's taken care of. But as you guys see, I am just on the regular page where you can select your server and all that. Uh, and just to start off the defrag sequence, it's actually very simple. It's just hold left bumper, right bumper, and Y. You'll see the screen, the play button, and select server button lock up. And then you'll start seeing it managing the layout at the bottom of the screen. Uh, make sure you just aren't like sitting in the Xbox party or being very active on the internet if you have a uh, low internet environment. Uh, I have mine directly hooked up to the internet. Better than wireless. It's always better than wireless. <laughs> but th this will take about, I don't know, five to ten minutes sometimes, depending on how well your system is or how much work the program actually has to do. And once it's done, it'll allow you to play as normal. So that's pretty much just the tip of the iceberg. I'm also going to do another uh, solution to the problems. I'm not going to wait for this whole thing to finish, because otherwise it'd be pretty boring for you guys. So I'm going to uh, just cancel this one for right now by uh, dashboarding. This would really mess up the system, just letting you know. Don't don't just do this and back up, unless you're going to do what I'm about to do, which is I'm about to do a full install on the game. So, right now it doesn't even matter what I do anyway, because it's going to be gone in a minute. <laughs> Alright. Mainly, if you are still having problems after a defrag, uh, the easiest thing to do then is just to do a flat-out clean install. Now, unlike most uh, games, doing this is a little different, in, in my opinion. Because, well, first of all, I keep I keep my all my uh, game files on on my flash drive, but you don't you can have it on the hard drive too. I just like it on a flash drive because I carry the game with. So I just go right here, Xbox 360 Edition, World of Tanks. Now, what you won't see on here is the actual game file itself, because that file is on my hard drive. But you'll just see the content packs here. Which pretty much, it's all your... Which is the real game. Because um, all the 360 game file is, is that launcher. So I'm going to delete the all three of these. I'm just going to go here, 
go game options, delete. Yes, thank you, delete it. Deletes all those files from my system. Second thing I want to do, since that's now freed up, I'm going to clear my system cache. Uh, do this three times. It really helps clear any excess files that may be left around. I do this for both my hard drive and my uh, flash drive. Just because it, it's just easier, an easy thing to do that's going to help your system in the long run. I'm going to go into my hard drive now just to show you that my actual game is still there. So if I go here, you'll see these. Um, the only thing you don't want to delete is the update and the actual game file itself. Actually, you can even delete the update, but it doesn't matter that much. I'm just deleting all these extra files because I don't need them at the moment. So I'm leaving that file there. I'm going to start my game as usual. Go to my recent, because I keep it there. Start the game back up. Alright. Now, this tends to be the longest part of waiting around for this. because. First of all, I'm going to select memory in it because I keep my stuff on there. As I said, I, I just like to keep it on my flash drive because I carry all those files wherever I go. And it's just easier for me to access. Alright. Biggest thing to do in this uh, during this time when you're installing. Don't do anything. <laughs> it's don't do anything at all. I'm just going to let the whole thing install, not going to, yeah, you see that playable line that just popped up? Do not click it when it reaches playable. Because if you have a slow system and you go into the game while it's downloading, it will severely fragment your system and you will have late loadings. At least, in my opinion, it gives you late loadings. I've seen people get in as late as well over a minute into a game and to be honest i've never been more than 30 seconds late into a game and that's because i just let the whole thing upload well download <laughs> so it's a nice clean install i don't do anything else i just let it install i leave my controller plugged in Technically, you don't even really need to leave your controller plugged in. I have a wired controller, so it doesn't matter to me. And then, you know, I don't know, go take a shower, uh, make some food. Do, do something for about 20 to 30 minutes, if that's how long it takes for you to download it. Or, you know, just do it, I don't know, do it right before you go to, over to see a friend, or watch a movie on TV. <laughs> but to me, it's just stupid to not just let your system get that full install so you have no problems. Now, I, I start playing World of Tanks right now, except for the fact that this is my actual World of Tanks file. I have to actually wait now. <laughs> But I just want to show you that I deleted all my save game files that it's not going to affect any of my tanks. I have over 90 tanks on this game, so I have a lot of tanks, and it's all stored on the World of Tanks servers, and you're not going to have any issues by doing this. Alright, uh, that's pretty much this video in a nutshell, so I guess I'll see you guys later.